Did you know 8% of millennials are offended by Christmas decorations? Snowflakes. <laughs> but also baubles and tinsel. <laughs> a third of Brits think Lapland is a fictional place. It's not. I've been, and as strip clubs go, it's actually all right. <laughs> and one in four Brits don't think snogging is cheating if it's under the mistletoe. But if that mistletoe is part of a vajazzle, it's a different story. <laughs> right, let's get started. Steve, what do people love about Christmas? The presents. What's the best thing you ever got? Oh. Braces. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, it's hard, Christmas presents, isn't it? Especially when you're married and you've been with someone a long time, you run out of ideas, and I, the best way, I think, is throwing money at it. Like, last Christmas, I ended up getting my wife three grand in used banknotes. <laughs> That is a lovely, lovely gift. Isn't it? Why did they have to be what? used? Yeah. And how were they used? Mm. Cocaine okay, your... mainly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like calling your wife a stripper, isn't it? Are you just because you said you're just throwing money? Yeah, I don't just like in her face. Oh, okay. like that. <laughs> I once had a really awkward thing in a relationship where you know you we've been together a few years, you think you're in the same place. Mm. So I bought us a holiday to Barbados and he bought me an electric toothbrush. Oh. And, yeah, it was a very tense day at the time. He felt very embarrassed about it, but then, actually, it was a good lesson. We went on holiday for a week and we had an amazing time, but the toothbrush was something that I used every single day to masturbate. <laughs> and so, in a way, a great gift. You can and people, and people don't even toothbrush. worry about why it's in your bag. You yeah. can take it on holiday. The other great thing is, ladies, minty fresh exactly. vagina. <laughs> Ola, best, um, best gift you've ever given? I, there was one year I actually decided I was going to try and do, like, Christmas like other people, and I bought everybody in the family a foot spa. But, like, half of my family members just didn't take it home with them. Slightly weird at your house, then, if you've got six foot spas. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you could do? Open up a place in the high street. All you need is a couple of goldfish. You know those things where people... <laughs> yeah, charge people 20 pounds oh, a go. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> you know those are really bad, those, those fish things? Why? The fish don't even get a lunch break. They're having a lunch break. They just keep on. 24-7. They just keep going. It's actually against the EU working time directive. <laughs> they are very much remain, those fish. I think the problem with Christmas presents is it's just unwrapping proof that the people you love don't know you. <laughs> it's a sad, sad thing. What's you have the, to pretend. What's the worst thing, then? What's well, the... my mum was a single parent with three children, and she used to give us school uniform, and we used to have to pretend that that was what we wanted. <laughs> it was sad. It's my size. Yeah, and our stockings, <laughs> yeah. she would put our breakfast in it. <laughs> You're lying. No, I didn't. And when we turned 14, we started to get sanitary towels. <laughs> yeah, because some people are poor and Christmas isn't fun <laughs> if you're poor. You watch all these adverts where everyone's getting these amazing toys and you have to go, oh, my God, another white shirt. Oh, God. Wait, this is what on. I wanted. Is this the Christmas episode? <laughs> is that why? What gave you? <laughs> I, don't, I thought I was told to wear this jumper, so I was like, "All right, I'll wear it." This is the oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't realise, Jimmy. I've I got didn't... a bloody robin on my top. How did you not know? Is that Christmassy a robin? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Are you all... broken? <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, Emily? What's uh, best best gift? Well, I don't know about Christmas, but someone keeps sending butt plugs to my house. <gasps> and they're changing each month. They start oh, really kind of I, I've minimal. got that with socks. Why well, they send you a new pair of socks every month. We can't shove socks up your ass. You but can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the weirdest thing. And like, my dad came round the other day, and he, he was sort of fixing something for me, and he pulled this drawer open, and this butt plug rolled out on the floor, and he went, what's that? <laughs> so you've kept the butt plugs. <laughs> It'd be a waste not to. Who had four minutes for the butt plug conversation? <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see if presents are up there. Yes, it's Christmas presents. Last year, I got my girlfriend a puppy for Christmas. It was so cute. I even put it in a little box with a big bow on it. My mistake was sending it second class. <laughs> I like unusual presents. Last year, I bought my nan a lifetime supply of Werther's Originals, which turned out to be three packets of Werther's Originals. 